Yeah, hi. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night AEW Dynamite, and even a maybe a Road to the Top review. So I did watch the Road to the Top show after Dynamite. Let's just say it was a typical reality show. Uh, really, nothing much to really say there. I don't think I'm going to watch. Or maybe, I don't fucking know. I'm not acting like a big YouTuber, but if people want me to do it, I was like, fuck it. You know, I, I guess I don't mind waiting an hour after. But at the end of the day, I don't know. It's just a typical reality show. It's fucking Cody Rhodes. It's like, you know... Uh, you know, I, like, he's gonna fucking say basically what the fans thought or whatever. He's gonna be like, you know, I'm the face of AEW. And, you know, we we were we were changing the game. And, like, you know, and then fucking... There's, we're gonna see... Oh, we're breaking kayfabe, guys, you know. They're basically breaking kayfabe. Like, after the show. We're not... We don't really hate each other, guys. And shit like that. I don't fucking know. It just felt... It feels like a fucking... It just feels like total divas or something. I don't fucking know. I don't really care. It is what it is. Oh, I'm pregnant. I'm go I'm I'm a, I'm the first black executive and shit like that. <laughs> like, come on. Oh shit! Oh shit! Cheers, motherfuckers. Drink this and you'll be in sense of enlightenment. That's good stuff. It gives them to some chicks, make them fuck them in theory or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Um, so. For some reason, yeah, this was basically a typical Dynamite, but because they know that people won't really give a shit about this show, they know that fans won't give a shit about the show, because really, a TNT title match with a jobber versus Rusev, and then, uh, freaking, like, there's nothing, like, announced that was gonna be cool about this show. But they decided, you know what, this is actually now a special show, it's the... Uh, Brody Lee Trippy Show. Another Brody Lee Trippy Show. Listen, I like Luke Harper, you know? But my God, I, I'm not trying to say he's overrated or a fuck, but come on here. Ozzy Smart's overrating him, acting like he's the greatest wrestler of all time. I'm not hating on Luke Harper, I like him, but come on here. He's literally not like this fucking guy like Eddie Guerrero and shit like that. He, it sucks that the guy died. You know, it's and sadly, let's be honest here, Luke Harper out of everybody in this fucking in this fucking f fucking roster would have been more a main eventer. He could have been the main eventer, but unfortunately, he, he had his untimely passing. And you know that's sad. Maybe like yeah, sure, this company you know will be viewed as the biggest you know loss because unfortunately, let's be honest here, he was actually better than a lot of these guys. But for fuck's sake, acting like he's like. You know, we gotta fucking do another trippy show when you literally did a trippy show already. And there's like really not even a story. At least with Eddie Guerrero, when he died, there was like a, a story they were trying to do. But like, come on, they weren't like even trying to do a fucking another trippy show. Like, it was been there, done that, we did our trippy show. And also, they're living off the idea that, you know, oh, he's a great TNT champion, even though he only had the title for like a. Like, like, a, like what? Not like a few months? I don't fucking know. Two months, probably. I don't fucking remember. And we have back, but he's like the, oh, you know, greatest TNT champion in the world. Don't get me wrong, he's better than Cody Rhodes. Fuck Cody Rhodes, but... I don't know, we gotta act like he's so great, guys. No, we definitely lost a great legend, guys. A legend like Brody Lee. He did more coolest shit in WWE as Luke Harper. Like, fucking A. Whatever, though. It is what it is, but come on, like, when you have him, especially, like, the Dark Order, they're living off him, they're living off of fucking Luke Harper, you know, oh, oh yeah, Bro Brody, you know, Bro our, our fallen brother and blah, 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 like, that's all they have, because <laughs> without fucking Luke Harper or even Brody Lee, they wouldn't fucking be nothing, imagine fucking Chris Canyon came to their fucking, became their man, you know, who, who the fuck's gonna shit about Chris Canyon, for God's sake, seriously. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so let's talk about the the second Brody tribute show. I mean, I like Luke Harper, but yeah. And yeah, next week though it's the anniversary at Dynamite. So there you go. They're gonna finally, I, not finally. They're gonna do another special show 
which makes people gonna probably care. This is like a last minute thing to make people care. Like this is another special show you really should watch because we're gonna call it something. Yeah. So the show started with CM Punk coming out and he just like basically just came out and did an entrance. Imagine if literally a wrestler, like this is your supposed to be your biggest star, CM Punk. And you have him literally just made an entrance and be co do commentary. That's like fucking Jerry Lawler shit. You know how retarded that is? If you really want your show to say, like fuck, I don't know, do something with Punk? Why is he literally just like a glorified commentator slash wrestler like Jerry Lawler? That's literally what he's doing. Shouldn't Punk be doing main event shit? Why is Daniel Bryan in the fucking like title picture? And the world title is not even on the main card. It's not even in the main event and shit. I thought it was supposed to... Uh, whatever. I don't fucking know. Wrestling just retarded. So we have Adam Cole Gay Gay comes out and he's gonna face Jungle Boy and he defeats Jungle Boy in the first match. Basically Smarts gonna pretend like this match this was so great. This match was dynamite guys. This match was fantastic because basically false finishes, long boring ass match. It was like long, you know, no story, no character involved. But Jungle Boy's up from the jungle. And fucking they're just doing gay wrestling. They're not even doing wrestling moves and shit like that. They're just doing gay shit. It's literally just two creative wrestlers having a match with no story and shit like that. It's not cool. But whatever. People think things good. Then Kenny Omega comes out and I, and I see fucking one of the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks look like fucking faggots. One of them literally looks like a fucking mutter. Uh, what, what, this is fucking the greatest tag team in history? This is the greatest thing in wrestling? They are the people that are in charge of fucking wrestling? For fuck's sakes. Kenny Omega says that last week everyone has been praising his match against Brian Danielson at Grand Slam. Yeah, smarts. First, for you more fucks that act like this match was good. It wasn't good. It's not good. Just because a long a match is long doesn't mean it's good. Okay? And literally, the match, they, did, they fucking just did stupid indie crap. There was not great storytelling involved. But apparently, yeah, if a match is long... 30 minutes to end in a draw. It's fucking a five stars, guys. Yeah. Kenny says Brian took him to the limit and, and says that he couldn't get the job done. Then Kenny states that Brian will not be getting rematch against him. Then Brian interrupts and wants a rematch and sees that Kenny doesn't have a ball, have the balls to give him another shot. Brian says if Kenny doesn't want to face him, he either challenge other members of the elite on Rampage. And then fucking Brian decides, you know what, we're gonna fight. And then he brings out like Christian, the Jurassic Express, and Frankie Kazarian. And they all, basically the young, the fucking gay elite fucking left and shit like that. It's like they announced later that, oh, Brian Dan's gonna go face uh, Nick Jackson. And oh my god, and then Sparks like, did you remember that, uh, you know, in the Indies, uh, they fought each other. This is gonna be the 12th year in the making. Yeah, yeah, let's pretend that Indies matter all of a sudden and pretend, cause I remember that because I'm a good wrestling fan. I had no life and I watch an indie shit. Ah, oh, fucking faggots. Pretending to care about a match they probably didn't give a fuck about. Andrade El Idolo. Oh, fucking Andrade. This guy can't fucking talk. Get, goes to the Lucha Brothers and asks where Pac is. And then Lucha Brothers claim that they don't know. And then Andrade says, It's been a while then this, the, um, since they defended those AAA tag titles and has some friends that would love to challenge them. And blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I don't know. Some stupid gay tag team, I, I, I believe, are going to debut. I don't know. Cody Rose and Lee Johnson defeated Matt Seidel, fucking Little Evan Bourne, and Dante Martin. Who the fuck is Dante Martin? And who the fuck is Lee Johnson? Who the fuck are these guys? Why should we pretend to care who the fuck they are? What is their character? Oh, but they're part of the Nightmare Family, or whatever the fuck. <sighs> then fucking Cody Rhodes wants Malachi Black again. And then Arn says, Malachi will, Malachi will go uh, any lengths to win a match, that, but Cody won't. And then fucking, uh, the difference with P.E. and you is that if someone tries to rob me, 
Uh, all right, we'll pull the clock out and blah, blah, or I don't fucking know. I don't even know what the fuck he said. Basically, it's just some dumb excuse that, oh, you know, you're you're not that good anymore. You're fucking garbage. I'm going to leave you and take this black guy with me. I'd probably suck his dick. That's probably what happened. Um, so, yeah, fucking Arn Anderson breaks up with Cody Rhodes. I don't know what to say. I don't really care. I mean, I really don't. I don't mind Arn Anderson, but like, goddamn it, the guy, like the guy is overrated by smarts because they pretend to know who the fuck the Four Horsemen is. I mean, yeah, Four Hor Horsemen led to like you know other great factions, but they act like, oh yeah, I care about guys like Tully Blanchard. Yeah, let's oh you fuck Ric Flair. Tully Blanchard is better than Ric Flair. Arn Anderson is spine buster and some other guy. Yeah. Ah, then they up. Then he won't be his coach anymore. He calls basically Cody Rose a loser. Okay. Well, he is a loser, but who cares? John Moxley, Eddie Kingston, and Derby Allen defeated some jobbers, basically. Yeah. I, sadly, the match was, like, long. Then fucking Eddie Kingston holds up, like, a Brody Lee sign. So, it's whatever. I really, uh, it's whatever there. Sting was there, I think. But, like, he didn't do fuck all. Maybe Sting should be wrestling. I don't fucking know. So more Broly Lee stuff. Um, oh yeah, they made it a big. Uh, they made it a big thing that. Oh, you got you could you could uh, donate to the Broly Leap Foundation. So that was like the big thing. Okay, you could just announce that. Why you gotta make another trippy show when you already did one? You're just literally living off the guy's name. Imagine if WWE was literally do a trippy show. Like, who recently died? Like a legend. Man, it's been a while, but like obviously I don't want any legend to die. That sucks, but of course that's sadly the reality. But let's say like recently, okay, Roddy Piper, right? Roddy Piper, I think was the most recent le legit legend death. Uh, like who was a wrestler, not like Howard Finkel or Mean Gene Okerlund. Like let's say if like Roddy Piper, I think he was like the last big legend to unfortunately passed away. Um, let's say him. Like oh, we're gonna do a another tribute months after, and we're gonna have to, like. You know how, like, stupid that would be? People would be like, why are they doing another tribute? I Obviously, it's like, you know, if it's AEW does it, it's all great. <sighs> uh, Dark Order, and, again, this is just an excuse to try and make this show big time. You know what I mean? I have no problem with their, like, when they first did it. it it's understandable. He was, your re he was a wrestler on your roster. It's understandable why he did it. But to act like fucking, I don't, I don't know. It is what it is. Dark Order... The, and Orange Cassidy defeats the Hardy brand or whatever the fuck. I don't know what the fucking stupid HFO means and shit. It's so retarded. Um, yeah, Hardy says, you know, I was supposed to debut. Yeah, they're making this big deal. Like, this show should have happened a long time ago. We should have came to Rochester, New York. Blah, blah, blah. And freaking, yeah. I don't know. Hardy says, you know, I'm glad I didn't fucking uh, debut here. Blah, blah, blah. Just typical deal thing. But, like... In a words of Finn R Rince Russo, if you keep saying, like, you know, a, like, and this is kind of true. If you say, like, oh, not tonight, this match is happening, or, like, oh, you we didn't, you guys didn't deserve, like, the one makes you get, that's kind of like, what, bad ticket sales and shit like that? I guess it's, like, the heel shit, but, like, that's kind of, like, a big, like, oh, we're, you're too good for this show, you know what I mean? Maybe there's some truth to that. I, 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 it is what it is, but I don't know. Uh, Yeah. Okay, yeah, Brody Lee team one wins, and I don't give a fuck. Like, without Brody Lee, we're just, just a bunch of jobbers. Like, seriously, we're a bunch of jobbers, and we're supposed to be taking care of about these jobbers. Like, can we be real here? Can we be real? Aside from Brody Lee, these guys are jobbers. Why should we be taking care about this? And they're supposed, aren't they supposed to be facing now? Why do they still call it? If you really want to give a tribute to him, I don't know, call yourself the Exalted Order. I think that would be a better idea than the Dark Order. You know what I mean? But whatever. I, I mean, who gives a shit in the end, but... Rest in peace, Blue Carper. It's a darn shame he did pass, though, so... Not trying to be, like, insensitive, but it's the fucking truth, you know? Leo Rush makes his return to AEW. Isn't this guy supposed to retire? Like, who fucking cares? Like, fuck this fucking midget. Leo says, Tony Khan has been hitting me up with the DMs and shit. You know, he wants to suck my dick, bro. I don't know, that's what he does. And he's a businessman, and he's here to make some steaks, and blah, blah, blah. 
I don't know. He's he's back from retirement. Didn't he like retire many times? Apparently, like I don't fucking know. Akal Shia versus Serena. Who remember her from the Straight Society? It's announced for next week. Cheetah says she wants to get her fiftieth win, and then Serena says that she that won't be happening against her. And then you got Smarks like Sheeta's back. Sheeta's back on TV. Like who the why y'all fucking pretending to care about Sheeta? Y'all didn't mention where the fuck was she. Anna J Tay Conti defeats uh, Ali and Penelope Fords. I mean, you got four hot chicks wrestling, so I guess that's fine. It's a bit astastic. I guess this was the only best match of the night because it was ass. It's a bunch of asses, right? Well, I don't know. It would've been better, if, I guess, if we're doing some hot shit. I don't know. I don't think Anna J should be part of Dark Order. I, if I I don't like like you know oh we got, I mean at least she still looks hot. She's still like looking hot and shit, right? But it's like, I don't know, have her be a woman. Have her, like, do what she was doing before. Because she actually was trying to look like one and now she's doing shit. But, you know, she's probably bisexual, by the way, because she's still dating that jungle boy faggot. And apparently he's gay, too, so I don't know. She probably into bisexual. She's probably bisexual herself. Because all women are secret bisexuals. Hey, Tecton, he's probably bisexual, too, and they're fucking having the action together. Um, uh, Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're all, yeah, that's, that's all to really give a fuck about, just them being hot, that's all that fucking cares. Um, uh, MJF comes out, and s says there's four pillars of AEW, Jungle Boy, Sammy Guevara, both of whom Mori have defeated, Darby Allin himself, and already other two. MJF says that Tony Khan needs to give him the respect he deserves, and MJF claims that he has Bruce Pritchard on speed dial if he needs someone that will give him the hit he, he needs, what the fuck. Huh, okay. Then Darby Allen comes out and MJF quickly stops him. MJF says that there's nothing wrong with Darby being second best. Darby says he wouldn't care if MJF left. Then Darby says he'll never have defeat. He never defeated him. Then MJF claims that Darby is a straight is straight edge because Darby got in a car accident with his uncle and I, I don't know. This was the only big thing that fucking MJF decides to met because apparently now this is the story. Oh, I don't like you, or but uh, you know I don't like you. You know why you don't like me? Cause you're you're straight at you. Don't like your, your uncle died. I don't know. I mean, I don't mind stories like that. Make it a bit more personal. But it's like, I don't know. Like, what's the reason for them feuding? You just uh, mentioned just for the sake of being edgy and shit like that. I don't know. It is what it. Is. I have no problem with that kind of edgy shit. It's just like, I don't know, you gotta have like a purpose. Like, why y'all hate each other so much? Y'all literally just interrupted for like no reason. Like, oh, I wanna be the best in the world. Whatever. MJ tells Darby to hit him, and then Dar but Darby says MJ won't break him mentally and wants to keep talking. So it's, and he says he's done, blah, blah, blah. It is what it is. I don't know. Some matches announced for Rampage. Brian Danielson versus Nick Jackson. Orange Cassidy versus Jack Evans in a hair versus hair match. And Dunder Rosa versus Jade Cargill and Nala Rosa. And now it's Vacation Triple Threat. We're supposed to be trying to care about this match, guys. You get like a video package early, like, oh, no disqualifications! And then fuck, you got fucking Nala Rosa just being disgusting and just like, yo, yo, ass is bad. I'm telling you, fucking, it's a man. I mean, it is a man, fuck. So is Jade Cargill. Fuck. Like, what's enticed? What's the reason for them ma like this match for? Why should we pretend to care about this match? Yeah, it's like, really, no one's gonna fucking watch this. Fuck this. And except you're into... That's the problem with wrestling fans now. Like, these smarky fans. They're into steroid up women matches. Like, they don't like hotness. They don't like hot women wrestling. They'd rather see disgusting steroided... Fucking She-Hulks. Like Jay Cargo versus fucking Nyla Rose. But they like to see fucking feminine dudes like fucking Nick Jackson and... Or fucking Adam Cole, Gay Gay, and Jungle Boy. Instead of like guys like fucking Brock Lesnar versus fucking even Roman Reigns. Like, like or not, Roman Reigns. He's a tough guy. And he is a good wrestler. But, oh, but he's not a good wrestler. He, 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 no, stupid shit. He's just a powerhouse. Edge versus fucking uh, Seth Rollins? Fuck that. I'd rather see Jungle Boy versus Adam Cole. Gay, gay. 
Here's what's announced for the T anniversary of Dynamite. A uh, call shit of what's a Serena Deeb, a casino ladder match for the world title, which I guess that's something exciting, but who's gonna be involved? And I don't know, like, it's gonna be supposed to be jobbers, that's the problem. And the lead versus Brian Danson, Kristen Cage, and Jurassic Express. Whatever. In the main event, we got Sammy Guevara defeating Rusev. So great, a midget. <sighs> Fucking a fucking dude. I mean, I don't, I mean, it's a common, right? I don't think like the guy is a legit rapist, but this guy is just a queer. I mean, that's probably a reason why I don't think he's a legit rapist. He'll only rape, probably rape other men because he's so fucking feminine and gay. So yes, Sammy Guevara with his friend Afrika da Silva or whatever fuck that guy's stupid name is. He probably has sex with that dude. He de he defeated Rusev or Miro. It's Ramiro, guy. Great, and he's the new TNT champion. Wow, that's exciting. Great, Rusev, a guy who could be a star. One only few guys to like, but that's because of shit he did in WWE. But like, I mean, at least like, the thing is, I'm glad he's not doing the whole video game shit. A game over. Like, at least we came something. Maybe you know, it's like it's not the best. But unfortunately, you ruined it to the point like really you had to with a gay dude and then fuck it. I don't know. <sighs> really, Rusev losing to this fucking midget. It would be understandable. Like, I don't know. Other, like, really. You have him lose to Sammy Guevara. And we're supposed to leave this to some any girl moment, guys. If you're gonna help to fucking Sammy win, it's not, it, like, it would be understandable if, like, let's say, like, guys like Lesnar. Like, if, go back to No Way Out 2004. Fucking, it was unbelievable that Eddie Guerrero was to defeat Lesnar. Goldberg helped them. It was believable like that. It makes sense. And plus, the difference is they're all cool. Every one of those wrestlers are cool. Only, like, Rusev is somewhat cool. But I like Sammy Guerrero because he's a vlogger. And he sticks his tongue out. And he's part of the, Lucha, he's part of the stupid inner circle. Thing. Whatever, I don't give a shit. Only Jericho's the guy to care about. Maybe Swagger. So that happened. Um, there was like, oh, like, oh, I was gonna have a problem, and then it's like, I don't know. He's like involved with the fuck, what was it, the stupid group, the fucking Dan Lambert guy. Oh, he cut like a promo. I don't know why these people don't have all the information. Dan Lambert cut out like an earlier promo. He again, the guy couldn't speak. Was, True words could never be spoken. It's bashing the smarks, saying they're all fucking retarded smarks and shit like that. They like shit wrestling. I don't like, I don't really give a shit about the guys like Eden Page and Scorpio Sky. But if anything, he's actually helping them, making themselves better. You know? I, I think. It's not by much, but you know what? I actually give a shit more about them now. He's like helping, elevating them. You know what I mean? And them saying like, you know, we're not indie guys, or, or right now you're typical indie, I don't know. It's like not the best, but it's like whatever, right? But here's what's announced. Fucking Bobby Fish, guys. Oh, wow, Bobby Fish. Oh, Bobby Fish. Oh, join Elite. So Bobby Fish, another fucking creator wrestler faggot from the Undisputed Garros, is joining AEW. He's going to face fucking... Shut up, bitch. He's going to fucking join the stupid... He's going to fucking join AEW and he's going to face Sammy Guevara. So yeah, without any build-up or whatever, we're just going to debut this guy who who's known for being in, the, in NXT who didn't draw a fucking dime and he's going to join AEW. That's the big thing. Yeah, great. Great. Bobby Fish, guys. We should be trying to get rid of Bobby Fish, a fucking like 40-something-year-old man who couldn't fucking make it to the big leagues and couldn't do anything because he's the most boring motherfucker. He's probably, he smells like... Sp Fucking smelly fish for fuck's sakes. Anyways, that's our big match apparently for AEW. A TNT town match with a guy who just got released and is going to face fucking Sammy Guevara. Yeah. So, AEW, it was your typical boring show. But it's, it's always, oh, how do you say that? You're insulting Brody Lee. Yeah, we can, apparently the show can't get criticized if, if, even though they legit, I mean, if anything, I was generous for the sake of generous to the Luke Harper. But, like, if you think about it, looking back at the original trivia show, it's, like, jo really, the Dark Order winning? Bunch of jobbers? Like, for fuck's sakes? It doesn't make any sense, you know? So, if anything, it's, like, mercifully, I try to pretend like that show wasn't doing too bad. You know? 
But I would say, like, it was touching what they tried to do for Brody Lee. It was touching also for the kids. But other than that, like, what was really good about the show, really? The Dark Order winning, bunch of matches when they're unbelievable? Fuck off. Um, overall, this show was boring. Fuck Sammy Guerrero, this fucking Spanish queer. I'm Spanish guy. No, you're queer, fucker. And, um, yeah, fuck whatever. Everybody's garbage. It's fucking gay W. And not to your anniversary. Can you believe it's two fucking years? God almighty out of this shit. Wrestling is not back. It's still the same garbage shit. I'm just kidding, real motherfuckers. Get your fucking gang and shit. Drink your cold so I'm used to be inspired to make some bitches go. Oh, shit, oh, shit. You won't if you're an AEW fan. That's for damn sure. Until next time, peace. Yeah, bye.